Hi Ahmed, my name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. It sounds like at the intensity you're exercising between your tie fighting and your powerlifting, you've developed a chronic inflammatory process in your elbow. I'm assuming the pain is in the medial side of your elbow right through here. Turning doorknobs is often affected there, um, which is one thing you described that hurts any lifting, gripping type hand shaking. Um, the other place that you can have pain is on the outside of your elbow, and if that's the case, then I'm going to, um, I'm addressing the medial epicondylitis since in the message you had stated you think you might have that and that it might, that's where a golfer's elbow is. You also mentioned that you've had prior physical therapy as well as cortisone injections, and since you had a lot of relief from the cortisone injections, that tells me that it's pretty accurate that that's where your pain is. The chronic nature of it is what we want to address here. You also had mentioned you don't spend much time stretching. Um, that is one thing I'm going to have you do that will really help control the inflammatory process so we can just get rid of this pain altogether so it's not something that you deal with every two months. Um, I say every two months because you stated that you had a cortisone injection which gave you relief for two months and we really don't want you to have a cortisone injection more than two or three times. So you don't you want to nip it in the bud so we can address the pain and inflammation altogether. So the first thing I want you to do is control the infl inflammation which will control the pain. And the best way to do that is use ice packs. Once you put the ice pack right over the area of pain, I want you to put ice for 15 minutes, two to three times a, each day for two or three days. Once we control that acute inflammation, we can begin the healing process. The other thing is doing a gentle massage right over that level of pain. And what it is, it's the wrist flexor muscles and the repetitive use of the wrist flexors that those muscles attach right here on the medial epicondyle. So um, what I want you to do is find the area of pain, massage right over the level of pain, and then follow those tendons down. So you can massage straight up and down here. You can also work cross friction massage across the tendons here. Putting a little bit of lotion on your skin will help um, reduce the friction. You can ma massage yourself. You can use your knuckles if this hand is feeling sore and just work your way through there. And as you massage, the pain should become less and not more. After you do the massage, I'm going to have you follow that by stretching. And this is the best way to stretch the elbow straight. The hand is pointed down, palm up. You want to feel a nice gentle stretch right across those tendons and right across here. Go to the point of resistance where a stretch is felt but not into pain. And you'll feel that and I want you to hold that stretch for 15 seconds. Often when these injuries become chronic in nature, which is anything over a few months, which is what you have stated it becomes chronic. There's always a nerve component also, so I want you to also, aside from the ice, the massage, and the stretching, I want to add a nerve glide to your program. So what that entails is you're going to hold your shoulder down, depress the shoulder, you're going to hold your hand straight out, finger straight, palm back, just as if a, a waiter holding the tray, and you're going to extend your arm straight out, keeping your wrist extended. And you're going to notice you're going to feel the pain and the tension right through here. And I want you to go to the point you feel the um, tension. It may only be this far. And I want you to come into the tension, out of the tension, into the tension, out of the tension. And as that nerve begins to glide, you're going to go further out until you can extend your arm completely out. And when you extend your arm completely out, you'll still feel tension and pulling through here, and that's because we have that nerve on tension or maximum stretch. Um, again, the key is not to go into pain and hold it. 
you're going to just pump and glide that nerve into the pain and out of the pain or into the tension and out of the tension. I don't want you to go too far because actually stretching a nerve can cause damage. What we're trying to do is glide the nerve. So again, the, you're going to depress your shoulder, wrist extended, which is this direction, pointed back, elbow out, and then going right into the pain, pain of the resistance. And you're going to glide that for two or three minutes. And I want you to go ahead and do it on both arms. Two or three minutes on each side. So your homework is to um, utilize ice packs two or three times a day for 15 minutes for the next two or three days. And as you can tolerate, you're going to massage. You can start that right away. Do the massage, then put the ice pack right on. You can do the massage stretch and put the ice pack right on. And then two or three times a day, I want you to do this nerve glide technique. Your symptoms should, with good compliance to these uh, four things, your symptoms should each day begin to get better and better. And I want you, as far as the activity you do, is stay within pain-free ranges. You need to allow that nerve and that in, um, to really calm down and that inflammatory process to really stop and that allows the tendons to heal. Then as you start feeling better, you can progress back into your power lifting and your fighting. Uh, and functional tasks, just try to avoid, if you can, like you said, mentioning turning doorknobs. Try to use the hand, the other arm for the next couple days just to protect this and allow the tissue to heal. I hope that answers your question. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Be well. Mm -hmm.